having an emergency. Uh, my mom here and uh, Debbie are having a fight. Uh, is she kidding? Uh, Photography is not just visual. It's all five senses at play. It's about the smell. It's about the sound. It's about touch. When I took that picture, I was in a dark room. I couldn't see anything. I was focusing in the dark, calculating the distance to his voice. And when I heard him say to his dad, I hate you for hitting my mother, they were the strongest words that I'd ever heard anybody say. My mom's going outside. Mama, don't! The police are coming! Hello? Shit. I realized that I needed to understand about couples and how they make love work. I saw this couple, Garth and Lisa, and he saw that I was into photographing sex, so when he invited me into his house, it was really to document their sexuality and their free lifestyle. Things started to get worse and worse. But it wasn't until this day, all of a sudden, Bengt comes out and tries to drag her into the house. And I had no idea why. I had never seen him be physically abusive. So I picked up my camera and I took a picture of it because I was shocked. And I thought, wow, you know, maybe this will make him come to his senses. When I walked into that bathroom the first night and I saw him going to hit her in the face, my first instinct was, I gotta get that picture. Because if I get that picture like I did during the day outside, maybe he'll, he'll stop again. But when he went to hit her again, I grabbed his arm and I said, what the hell are you doing? You're gonna hurt her. Stop it, what are you doing? And he just threw me off and he said, look it, she's my wife. And you have to just really look at these pictures, look at them and understand what she was feeling. When you know that someone is being hurt, what do you do? That's when my life got complicated. We're living in a home that should be our sanctuary and it's like living in, in a war zone. I wanted to live with women, sleep in the beds next to their you know, crying bodies, you know, and hear their little kids screaming and crying all night long. It's been meeting women like this that I started to understand how deep the psychology is to accept abuse. Like here, this woman was in the hospital with this big, gaping knife wound. And I said, well, are you going to press charges against him? And she said, no. And I said, well, why not? And she said, it's very hard to believe that somebody you love a lot would do something like this to you. My daughter has been exposed to all of this stuff for 32 years. My phone became a hotline. So I was getting phone calls from battered women all over the world. It was pretty intense for her to hear about what was going on, how men were raping their children, and how women would have to go underground, just disappear off the face of the earth. And I wanted to help people to turn it around. I really felt like with a camera that I could do that. I think a lot of women wish they pray that it's a mistake. It's just an aberration. He's not gonna do it again. This is the most important point that I'm trying to make. I know that women have the power to get out. I want them to understand if you don't get out soon enough, you're gonna have to kill him to save yourself or he's gonna kill you. I want women to start thinking in their own brains. I don't deserve to be beaten up ever. I am a woman. I am powerful. I am good. I am strong. You can't do this to me. I am unbeatable. You know, when I close my eyes at night, sometimes I have these really 
upsetting images that stick with me and replay again and again. But I've become a lot more sensitive and excited by the light and looking for the light. I'm always going to gravitate towards things that I've seen that give me a lot of hope. And that picture of Diamond standing up to his father and saying, I hate you for hitting my mother and don't you ever come back to my house. I mean, that's the picture that I, I really want to think about when I close my eyes at night. My name is Donna Ferrato, and this is Conflict.